How to back check properly is an important thing to teach your players. Here's an example against a two on one. The back checker needs to take the weak side attacker. They need to keep moving their feet until they're on the defensive side of the player and be ready to take care of their stick in case there's a pass or a rebound. When back checking against a three on two to the weak side of the ice, Again, the back checker needs to move their feet until they're in good defensive position. This allows the defenseman to slide over, take away space from the puck carrier, keep them to the outside of the dots. The middle defenseman has got to stay with the net drive forward, and the back checker needs to make sure they are in good defensive position against the forward on the weak side of the ice or in the high slot. They need to be ready to take care of the stick in case there's a rebound or a pass as well. Another option when back checking against a three on two is to back check to the strong side of the ice. So now the back checker is applying backside pressure. It leaves you vulnerable on the weak side of the ice, but the back checker and the defenseman need to work together, play aggressive, and make sure they create a turnover. So the back checker needs to move their feet till they're on the defensive side of the forward. Uh, they need to try and angle them uh, into the wall. The defenseman needs to have a good stick and try and eliminate any pass to the middle or weak side of the ice. The middle defenseman needs to stay with the net driving forward and hopefully you create a turnover and then that defenseman can clean up the turnover and you get possession of the puck back.